Hey guys! So, recently me and my sister have been re-watching all of the Harry Potter movies. Today we only made it to The Prisoner of Azkaban and then we had to stop because we're both lightweights. But since I got to watch the first three movies again, I was reminded of how cute Harry and Ginny were growing up throughout the years in Hogwarts. I always thought their budding romance was super cute, so I wanted to do something to honor it. This piece was an interesting one as I had never paid that much attention to the Gryffindor Commons room when I was watching the movies and I had to do a lot of image searching to try to figure out what kinds of things would be placed around the rooms and where couches were and tapestries and fabrics and all that jazz. So you'll see those things come together as I'm working where I try to do color paletting and just like arrange everything the right way. It was kind of difficult, honestly. I'd never done really anything that detailed in the background. At least I don't think I have. But anyway, this piece was super fun and I enjoyed making it and drawing it and I love Harry Potter and I didn't really actually get to watch it until I was probably 14, 15, I think. I can't remember, but I latched onto it pretty well when I did watch it. Having said all that, enjoy the video, I will come back for commentary at the end, and I hope you like the piece!
This part of the video starts the editing process and I just wasn't feeling the color vibe from the original piece as much as I wanted to. So I added some sun glows and some light leaks and such to bring out the warm tones in Jenny's hair and Harry's skin and the couch that they're sitting on and their overall surroundings. So I did my best to edit it with those interests in mind, with using filters that also brought out the cool tones but kept the warm tones in and just kind of embellished everything, enhanced it a lot more than it already was. And one thing I run into a lot, which is probably just the struggle of using a really cheap editing app, is that when I finish a piece, the quality doesn't always come through on the other side. Just notice a lot more graininess, you don't see the quality as well. Uh, the pencil strokes and stuff like that just look a lot more pixelated, and I don't really like it, but I don't have a solution at the moment, so I just kind of have to live with it. Right here, I started playing around with black and white filters, and when I started looking at the black and white filter, the reason I lingered so long was that it actually gave a really nice look to the piece, and I thought about doing a black and white edit of it later on. Tell me what you think. I think it would be kind of an interesting idea to see how this piece would look in black and white. The piece started to look a little bit light around the edges, so I went in with a border filter here in a second to just kind of like darken up the edges, make them more defined, so that you don't feel like you're losing the edge of the piece. And this brings us to the final stages of the piece. I saved and rendered, and here's how it came out in the end. I really enjoyed doing this piece, and I'll probably revisit some different Harry Potter couples in the future. So if you'd like to suggest a couple for me to draw, I'm totally open to suggestion. Thank you all so much for watching. If you'd like to support me, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Share this video with your friends, and if you'd like to follow me on my social media, I'll link it all below. Hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you all next week.